Well, that's stone. Look at it. I've been smelting stuff for quite a while now. Uh, looks like we can get quite a stock of stuff here. About eight piles of stone brick worth of stone to mess around with. I did do this off camera. Sorry. But I did work on these staircases off camera. Which is, it took me a while to do to get all this uh, done off camera. I'm working on the rim. It goes around here, then it's gonna have to curve in a bit once it gets to the stairs, so it can go around. Uh, we do have the dual helix stairs in now, so we do have a way up to the top of the tower. So that's a big thing that I was uh, not wanting to do for a while, but did finally get around doing. These are kind of like sub balconies. Did not know what to do there on the corners, so I ended up just doing that. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't look the greatest, but it's better than having a derpy pattern. I also added those nether portals since last time we talked. Because uh, I kind of wanted some nether portals as well as moving the slab, my work slab, into the actual building. So quite a bit of progress has been made. These portals are not linked up yet. Link them up later once the nether uh, hob is done. But for now... They're not really that important. I just kind of wanted to put them in. We may make that one taller eventually. Uh, we'll have to see. I also want to add some stained glass windows. So we're probably going to lay that out before we end up placing all the blocks. And that'll be indented in the wall. And that is why... Uh, let's actually go outside. That is why I made the wall two blocks or three blocks thick. So I could have indents like windows. I'll probably do some interesting patterns in them. Uh, put it like right here. That's that's kind of my plan. Put them going along here on each one of the four walls. Uh, the four walls that actually face in a general direction of something. Uh, have my little carrot farm there. Kind of devouring through things. Probably have to do some monster hunting to get some bone meal. But that's not necessarily important. Probably uh, need to gather some dyes. My resource amount of all my resources there. We have some food in here, so we do have a bit of stuff, but yeah. <laughs> Did find a name tag, but I think I already pointed that out. So yeah, we, we got stuff since last episode. Uh, it's been a while since last episode, actually, now I think about it. I've been working on uh, some other videos for other channels and stuff, working with some friends. But anyway, nothing really important. Uh, so let's actually snatch a bunch of this, bunch of this stone here. And make some stone bricks because we need to do that. We need to make stone bricks. And I, uh, as you guys see, I moved the slab, uh, all that worker stuff around a bit because I was not necessarily satisfied with it. Just kind of sitting there in the middle, it made it look very rudimentary. It made the build itself look very crude, having that worker slab in the center. So yeah, we have a bunch of stuff that we smelted up. So let's actually uh, work on the walls. We need to be doing that. Don't have any progress on the walls recently. I raised up a little bit of the walls. Because uh, I'm planning to build a balcony system. Going all the way along, along here. Words. But we still need to work on that quite a bit. So let's snatch some ladders wherever they are. I'm organized, but I don't know where anything is. That's why I typically don't organize stuff. Because I always forget. And it's just kind of a waste of my time to organize stuff. So, yay. Let's, uh, let's go work on the outside walls. That'll be interesting. I also moved the track that keeps mobs out more front. Probably add more layers of that later. Like, make it a second layer because zombies can nudge each other. If there's two zombies, they can nudge one into here. Onto the track. And I don't want that. I think if we had a second layer of defense earlier on... I think it'll solve it. I don't know. Whatever. Not too much of a problem. It's not actually caused any harm to me, really. Because they don't pathfind to me whenever I go AFK. Because I go AFK up in top of the tower. And I guess they could pathfind to me if I just kind of stand on top of that roof. But really, it's fine. Uh, but I do need to work on raising up this wall. And uh, I burned the resources doing this. As you guys see, I've already used up basically a pile of stone bricks. Just bringing the wall around here. 
That's, that's why I don't like building the wall up very much, very often, because I do just eat through resources like crazy. I'll mine for a couple minutes, and then in the time that it takes me to mine, uh, I have ended up just eating through all of my resources. Uh, already using up two, two stacks just to get it up four blocks in like half of the wall. So that's why I do not like building up the wall very often. But I have to do it. It's gonna take a long time. This will be the most uh process, the most long, tedious part. We got the wall up to the level that it is in the inside now. It's still a little bit flustering. I didn't deal with all this. Yup. So yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna work on rising up rest of the wall. Hopefully to that level. I'm not sure if we can, but we'll see. Well, that's the last 32 of my stone brick. I told you guys, just eats through it. It's insanity. I uh, probably should bring this tower up as well. I was waiting to bring it up because I don't think I have enough to do it. All the way. Probably just enough to do that and that. I'll actually snatch one of these. Because, yeah, I told you guys, this freaking eats through resources. It's just... <laughs> this project will be the end of me. Ah, <laughs> so much to do yet. We, we we're not even done with the bottom corridor yet. This is the only. This is the entrance way. There's nothing else yet here, and I still need to add support beams and so much to do. <laughs> and yet, to even get close to finishing it. I think we're done smelting, yeah. Wow, we uh, feel bad. We still, we just barely started using up a coal block there. So I had something to smelt. But I don't have anything worth smelting. I probably smelt up some glass. I guess. Probably need to start smelting that up. It's, there's been this guy outside my house he keeps revving up his motorcycle because he can because it's not legal you can just sit there and rev up your motorcycle all freaking day it's annoying and he needs to stop <laughs> uh, he does it for hours on end I, like I, I know the guy has a lot of motorcycles but really stop go it's like a mechanic shop or anywhere except for here. Go away. No one likes you. <laughs> it's annoying. It really is. And we're only gathering these gold blocks for one reason. Because we're going to put giant handles on these doors made of gold. Uh, sure. Someone else is actually on the server for once. <laughs> it's not just me. Uh, just kidding, this is usually people on Ramon. It's just recently I've been getting on like really early or late in the day. So no one else is on then, because it's like not prime hours. So yeah, that's uh, so that stuff has happened. Nothing really up here I've done off camera. I've been keeping you guys, I've been trying to keep you guys updated as much as possible with my doings. I did build some things off camera, I'm sorry about that, but I didn't do extremely major things. Didn't make extreme progress. This is very boring work right here. This dank donk. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so yeah, you guys are probably like, why don't you have rails here? Because quite frankly, how I walk, I, I'd never fall off this. I, I don't know. What is this? Uh, how did that zombie come to exist in here? Did he have a friend? Or did you spawn in here? You know what? You probably spawned in here, and I know where you spawned. My friend. You spawned right here. Let's take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Um, let's see, light level. Tell me where's the light level. I can never find it. Mm -hmm. Let's look. There it is. Uh, biome light, real light. No, it's not spawned there. There's no way it could have spawned there. Okay, that's not F3. My, I have a gaming keyboard and I have all the layouts all weird. I don't know, man. Did he spawn there? No, his torch is right there. Okay, where did he spawn? Didn't spawn there, those half slabs. I have all these half slabs over here lit up. 
nowhere over here, so maybe his buddy nudged him. Even though, hmm, there's zombie flesh here. Maybe they ignore rails when they're on fire. You know what, let's test that. Not running through cover. Okay, what's up? Let's see if he actually does run for cover. He should. Because he has it. What are you doing, guy? Is it. You too good for that cover or something? I don't know. Man. Is zombie pathfinder broken right now? Okay, no. He just went in there. But he could have just walked in there. I don't know. I do not know. We may never know what has happened. <sighs> Holy crap! Ho! Oh! Holy crap! <laughs> These bastards run fast! Let's get the hell out of me! Oh my god! Where'd the bastard go? Wow. That guy just sprinted at me. <laughs> that was horrifying. Come over here. Come here. Don't look at me like that. I see. That's how it is. Fine. Whatever. Fine. Gosh! Didn't want you anyway! Oh, God. Um, yeah, use block of coal for smelting. Because it's, in my opinion, more efficient. Because you can store more at a time than having to uh, have a hopper filling it. And uh, really, if you're smelting in mass quantity, why not? If, if you're not smelting in mass quantity, I don't know. Uh, I guess it's all dependent in the situation, I guess. Never mind. They're using that. Use a normal coal, whatever. You're the weird one out here. <laughs> I still do actually have my my opening here. But that's just because why not? And uh I don't have any other way to get in here. Oh well, this is that cave system that I did not show you guys. I don't think I've shown you guys. Uh it is in a slime chunk, so we do have a good dependent source of slime balls now. So that's good. Uh, I've been needing a way to get slime balls for a while. Because we may be using them in the project later for quick drops and stuff. We may replace the bottom of the mine shaft with or the bottom of the ladder of the mine shaft with slime blocks just for the fun of it. I may use it in the castle somewhere as like a, a really simple little quick drop or something. Because I think that'd be cool. And a quick drop in the very center. Possibly like a fountain that had something in it that made it turn into like a jello something i don't know uh this ravine was hell so i i went in a little bit then i ran away because there were witches everywhere in it i think there was like three witches right next to each other and it was just horrifying there's also a bunch of creepers and it was just overall not worth going in at the time so we're going in right now as we do we do want some resources. Running a bit low on stuff. Funny, because I have a lot of freaking iron blocks, but whatever. Uh, iron blocks are not necessarily looking for diamonds. Diamonds are something that I'm entirely out of at the moment. Used them all up on picks and stuff. Still using my first diamond sword. Because diamond sword is lost. Holy crap! God damn it! And he walked in that. That would have been devastating. Uh, but yeah, this ravine is the ravine that is connected to my mine shaft. Uh, so these caves do interlink very well. Uh, that makes any sense, but they do interlink quite a bit. All the caves in the area are just one cave, it turns out. After me exploring them for hours on end, I keep ending up ending up in the same exact caves over and over again. You know what? You, I'm out of arrows. Screw you. You're crap, man. Just die. 
I don't care about you. Where else? It would so bad if a freaking skeleton shot me in the lava right there. It would so bad. Um. Mm, hmm. Hmm. Caving with blackens. Yeah. If you wanted to see this right, of course you did. I'll probably do some caving episodes eventually. Yeah, there's probably be a caving episode, whatever. There's lava. And a skeleton. On the other side of the lava. I want you in the lava. You're dead. That's what, that's what being alive gets you. Oh, hi. Right there. No, 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 no. I'm over here. Can I shoot you once? You're dead. Bada bop, bada boom, you're dead. And you grab some coal. Even though, well, apparently I'm trying to mine blocks of torches now. Totally a, a valid mining technique. You just whack things with torches. <laughs> totally works. I, I think I've done it a good five or six times. You just uh, pull out your torch pick and burn everything. Uh, typically, it only works with wooden houses of your enemies. But uh, I don't know. Maybe it works with stone. Well, maybe... Maybe if stone, maybe if you're like an alchemist, and you could turn stone to wood, uh, maybe torch mining would work? I don't know, man. You definitely get a living out of that if you're an alchemist. You know, if you're an alchemist, just make gold. Be golden. Have the Midas touch, but have control over it. Brilliant. It's the Midas touch. It's controllable. Don't like someone? Bam. Gold. Sell them. Easy. Easy money. Easy. Easy money. Where am I going with this? This is losing it. Ah. Eh. Ah. Just caving. It gets to the mind, you know. It's these, these weird monsters that just want to eat you. But you're like, no, no, don't eat me. And they're like, ah, I'm hungry. Marrr. And you're like, Dee! and they're like, Brah! and you're like, Dee! and then you have some tea and crumpets, and then you wake up because you realize it's all just a nightmare, and then you realize that the corporations are screwing you over, and then you go to Walmart and cry in a corner because they are evil and may as well just own the world. Um, and stuff. I thought that was a silverfish block, and I swear, there's a skelly spawner right here. Hi. How's your day? Like some tea? The side of sword to the face? Sir! <laughs> so you like that sword. Feel good. Emeralds. Okay, fine. I see how it is. I'm out of arrows, so can't deal with skellies as easily, even though I have like projectile protection 20,000 or something. I feel like there should be more enchants for the bow, or at least more attributes modifiers so map makers can change the bow more. Because right now, the bow in Minecraft does the same, has the same drawback speed and everything. Won't there be a, uh, an attribute for bows? Where you can increase the draw speed. Or... A... Uh, a bow. Like an enchantment that allows you to increase the draw speed. Or haste. If you have haste, you can increase the draw speed. Because then, if you can, like, test for items and specific item slots with specific attributes, then... You can give people haste, and then they could... It looks like it's drawing back faster. I don't know. Freaking Mojang, do things. Watch my videos, damn it. Subscribe to my channel, Mojang, because I have ideas that are good. About as good as my English. Yeah. I don't know, though. I, I think that would be a good idea. They need to implement something like that for map makers, because then I would have a lot more motivation to get back into map making. I still do work on maps and on streams where we make maps all the time, but... I feel like if we had more options, there'd be more ideas in the community, and maps would be a lot more unique, and they would not require bucket plugins, or just plugins in general, to run. Uh, I feel like if we had more options with attributes, 
uh, and stuff. It'd be nice if you didn't have to use potion effects for everything or if potion effects affected more things than they do right now. Because right now, the potion effects are fairly negligible. Uh, some, some can be replaced by attributes, which is good, but it doesn't necessarily matter. Um, but whatever, you know what? doesn't matter. Because I'm no one in the community, really. Someone like me has no impact on the way that the game goes. No matter how much I complain or ask for something, we're not going to get it. Because no one really... The developers don't listen to a single person. Because they're going to disappoint someone. No matter what you do, you're going to disappoint someone. And they'd rather disappoint one person than disappoint thousands and I don't know why they're not adding the bow attributes because that would be a freaking brilliant feature I don't have any arrows don't hurt me <laughs> yeah, fine just kind of measly walk at me you <laughs> bastard <laughs> you're dead oh a sword and nuggets uh, I can't eat this nugget I thought it was a chicken nugget but then I broke my tooth on it that's happened more than once But anyway, yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I think that's about it. Just kind of a little bit of cave in there. I haven't done caving in a while on a video. I don't think I've ever done a caving video. See what I mean? I just nudged his zombie friend. They're giving each other boosts. Uh, what are you doing? Hey, I think. Actually, I think they kind of get that community sense. No, 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 Because they seem to walk over after I hit one of their friends. I don't hurt my friends. We're super friends. Yeah, okay. No, spiders don't care about your crap, man. Well, I said I was going to clear off the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.